I received this Anycubic Wash and Cure. That's it on the left there, next to my Photon S from Alibaba. Um, seems like quite a good bit of kit. Um, certainly cheaper than the equivalent from from Formlabs. Unfortunately, there's absolutely nothing at the moment on the Anycubic website about how you um, how you use it. Is that in focus? Um, so I thought I'd make a little film about how to how, how to use it if I can work out how to do that myself. It comes with quite a lot of uh, uh, goodies which I'm pointing at now. A pair of uh, clippers for your uh, supports, a pair of tweezers, ball bearing, I don't know what that's for, a piece of metal next to it, a load of um, hex keys, a turntable, a basket and a big orange bit of Tupperware for your um, for your spirit for the alcohol it also comes with a uh, with a manual uh, which is entirely in uh, in Chinese um, so that's not very useful so here goes The next thing you need to do is bolt this bit of metal in. It's a U-shape, make sure the U-shape is pointing downwards. It's very, very difficult to do, so no wonder they didn't do it in the factory. Unless you've got tiny fingers like a Chinese girl, you'll take ages to do it like I did. Um, and that is to hold the print plate from your um, from your photon in place. So you slide that in. Sorry, I'm holding the camera at the same time. Yeah. Slide that in there, and your piece is there, ready for cleaning, which is the next thing I'll do. So the next thing to do is to put the isopropanol in the washing bucket. I uh, don't think there's any need to put any more than you need to cover the piece that you're making. So I'll put in uh, two litres, which should be enough for starters. So that then goes in into the, the the washing thingy. Don't put the turntable in. That's for curing. So we put it in so that the fan, the um, propeller thing in the middle of it, fits nicely into the socket. Easier said than done. And. switch on. So we need to choose the mode, wash mode, won't do it, I think you have to clean everything, close everything off. So we're in wash mode now, so if we start it, it should um, engage with the wheel. I think it's doing that now. Check to make sure that the wheel's turning and we'll stop it. Right. Open up. Now comes the time to put your workpiece in. Right. Now I'm going to put that in there But it's not going to be 
in the liquid. So what we can either do is fill up the liquid so that it is, or get our lovely spatula that they've provided us with and lever it off. Um, I think it's going to be easier to fill up with liquid. So here you goes. Whoa, it's going everywhere. So that's filled up to the max. It's over the plate. Lovely. Close it all off. And choose the amount of time we want it to wash. Let's say for purposes of this exercise, two minutes and start. Come on, start. Here we go. I'm just going to have a quick gander inside, make sure it is washing. Oh yeah, regular whirlpool going on in there. So we leave that to wash for a little while. There you are, there's the whirlpool going. Started and stopped for some reason. Don't think it's gone for four or two minutes. Maybe it's so. Oh, I think it's going in the opposite direction. There we go. So that was in its wash cycle. After it's done the wash cycle, here we go. It lifts up. Oh my word, I didn't know it would do that. Opens the lid and lifts your piece out. There's a thing. Now, if, I, if it had done that when I was putting the, uh, the bracket in, it would have been much easier. So, um, dear viewer, if you want to uh, make sure that it's easy put, to put the U-bracket in, make sure it's complete as a wash cycle, and then you'll be able to get to it. So now we're ready for curing, so bear with me. Let's um, get a nice focus there. Open the uh, washing station. Take out the Tupperware. Carefully don't spill isopropanol alcohol everywhere. And put the Tupperware lid on so it doesn't all evaporate. And that'll be ready for next time. Hopefully. Now we're ready for curing. So, the first thing to do is to take our piece off, out of the way, get the basket, hook it in, and put Ah, see, we could have cured it in the basket. We'd, we'd, if, if you take it off this before you do the, uh, the washing, you can wash it in the basket. So maybe that's what I should have done. So why you need to hang this thing on there, I don't know. So we'll uh, remove it with a nice spatula that they've given us. There we go. Uh, we don't need to put it in the basket, 
So, sorry about that. We need to... That basket is used for the washing. So we need to get the... Uh, turntable. And make sure that that matches up with the uh, gear arrangement which is easier said than done there we go and put our little piece on it I'm going to put it slightly off centre like I would with a microwave now we're ready for curing so close everything up Uh, mode. Now, how do I get that down? Um, so, stop, 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 done. Won't do it. Switch the whole thing off. Try again. Mode is now in cure. So, Hopefully, when I start the cure, that'll come down. Nope. Oh, I close the door and it comes down. So you've got to close the door and the thing will come down. We've got our piece ready to be cured there. Complicated is when you don't have instructions, don't you? Close the top and start. Here we go. Choose the time. I'm just giving it a short time just for the sake of the film. Okay, so it's finished now. I can open the door and take my piece out, and we're all sorted. There you are, lovely and cured. Um, I can cut the supports off if there are any. There aren't any on that, which is the uh, the test piece. And that's it, done. So I'll just summarise because I didn't actually know how it was going to work when I first got it. The first thing you need to do is put the U-shaped piece of stuff in there. And to do that you need to complete a wash cycle so that the, the back comes out and you can actually access it to put it in. I, I really struggled with that. Okay, now to, to do the wash, you can either hang the photon plate from there in a full um, in, in, in a full Tupperware of isopropyl, um, or you can use the basket. In which case you won't have to fill up the uh, the Tupperware. You can it'll go down much deeper. Um, I think that's the only thing I need to say about that. As far as curing is concerned, you put the turntable on, and it will only cure when you've shut everything. On the front, you choose the mode between wash and cure, start, stop. And you can set the timing with either 2 minutes, 4 minutes or 6 minutes. There's also a hood, which presumably keeps it nice and cosy when you're not using it. I think it would be far better used if you stuck it over your photon. Um, when the photon's not in use, so that light didn't get in there to cure your resin. Thank you for watching my video. And I hope it's been of some use to you.